An efficient way to compensate participants uh, for their online participation uh, through Qualtrics is to link your Qualtrics survey to um, Amazon's Mechanical Turk, otherwise known as MTurk. So what I'm going to do is go through the basic steps of linking um, your Qualtrics survey to your MTurk account so that you can recruit participants, otherwise known as workers. Um, I'm basing this off of Brent Purdy's uh, online um, tutorial that he has, and I'll provide a link for his website afterwards. So there are two parts that he refers to. One is to amend your Qualtrics survey so that you can receive and keep track of MTurk workers, and this is the best way to get anonymous data via um, MTurk coding. Um, and by coding, I mean providing an, a numerical code for participants, and then creating your MTurk task, which will actually be the process of recruiting and paying your workers. So first, um, we need to prepare the Qualtrics survey. So if you log in to your Qualtrics account, and it should, it's most likely affiliated through university, um, normally what you do is you can create your project um, and that from that point on um, this is you know with the assumption that you've already created uh, your Qualtrics survey and what I'm just going to do is I'm going to click um, one of our previously made surveys and I'll go through the steps via that so um, so you'd open up your project and go to the editor tool which is our editor bar and click survey flow Okay, and what you have to do is add in this web service. So I already have this added in, but this the purpose of this is to create the random numerical um, MTurk ID that will be generated after they complete the survey so that you can identify, um, I guess, in an anonymous way, if that makes sense, um, the participants and their data via Qualtrics after um, the completion of the study. And so in order to add this web service, you would normally go down to here where it says add a new element here, click web service, and put in this particular URL. Okay, so this is for the purpose of creating the numerical IDs. And then you would add parameters. So this would be the min, which is one. And then add another one, max. And we put it at 9,999,999. So this is to create the range, right? You'd also add the embedded data. And here you would put in mturk code. random. And something to note that um, Brent Curdy refers to is have the minimum, maximum, and random all lowercase, whereas enter code is fine. Okay, and then what you would do is you would move this to and drag it. You'd click and drag and put it up to um, your desired spot, so normally at the very top, right? Okay, and it would be the first one. And then what you do is save flow. But for the purposes of this, since I already have it, I'm just going to delete it. But normally you would save it. And just make sure that the web service is at the very front. And then you would save flow. Okay. I'm just going to do cancel for this purpose. So after that, um, what you also need to do is provide um, the ending message so that participants know to get the mturk code that is given to them after they complete it and um, put it into their survey link. Uh, so in order to do that is you go up to here where there's library. Okay, go to the messages library and normally you'd create a new message. Okay. So the new message, I would put the description as end of survey. Um, 
you know, a validation message. And here, what I typed in was, thank you for participating, the validation code is, and this is where it's very important, you need to put in this text. So this here is very important. This is where um, the code will come up for them. And then you can write to receive payment for participating. This is just um, directions for them. Click accept hit in the mechanical turk window. And this way, they have this message that comes up at the very end. And they know to um, uh, put in the code for uh, their payment and the compensation. And so normally you'd create the message. I'm just going to cancel it for now because I already have it here. And then you would go back to survey flow. So go back to your projects. right? And we're editing this particular survey. Go to survey flow and what we would add a new element and this is what I have here it's end of survey customize it so that you can add that message override surveyed message so instead of having the default you'd go to custom and select your message my library because that's where we saved it and then you this message would come up because this is what we saved in our uh, message library okay and then you would say OK, and you would make sure that this is at the very end of the survey. Right? Of course, we have two because this is what I had previously done. So let me cancel that. Right, so now the number, random number assignment is um, done for the Qualtrics survey, so you can now put this into mTurk. Right? And the link that you would get, remember, To resume since I closed it earlier but this is the link that would be generated and you just go to anonymous link okay so now we're going to go into Amazon mturk so it's just mturk.com and um, you would sign in as a requester as requesters are the ones who are recruiting the participants who are known as workers and so you have to create a requester account and this can be easily done um, if you already have your account. Since I already have an Amazon account, um, I can uh, already sign in. So first what you do is go to create in order to start a new study. Right? And you can see new projects. So this is where um, I used for the selfishness questionnaire. If we do new project the survey link comes up like this, right? And you would edit this um, once you create the project, which is the link. And this is where they would provide the code, and that's what we um, generated uh, in our Qualtrics survey. So now if we click Create Project, we can enter the title, right? A project name, this is just for your purposes. No one else can see it other than you. Um, I'm just going to put SQ test um, for selfish questionnaire. Um, and for the title, is a brief description to the workers, you know. So um, you could say survey about selfishness. Okay. Description, what's good is to normally give a time frame. So a 15 minute um, survey about selfishness right so then they just have a general idea of what they would be doing you can add in keywords or like this could just help um, workers search for uh, your hits so they call it hits as just completion so when one person completes a study that's considered a hit and so they can um, search for that so I can put selfishness 
personality, etc. So reward, um, you have to determine how much you are going to give per hit, so um, per participant, right? And normally the asking rate is 10 cents per minute. So if it's 15 minutes, about $1.50, right? And let's say we have, um, you can set how many participants you want to recruit so that the survey will end once you are done. So this would be, you know, we could say 200 participants. Um, the time allotted is how much time you would like to give for um, the participating um, individual and how um, long the hit would expire. So if they sign up for it, how long do they have to do it? Right, and auto approve, you can also, um, because you actually have to go in and review the participants' data, if you'd like, or at least you have to go and approve um, their participation for them to actually receive the compensation. And so you can set in a lot of time where you say, you know, maybe after seven days, if you still haven't done that, then they automatically get um, paid. And in this case, it's already set for three. So worker requirements is to set, I guess, um, requirements or qualifications for your participants, right? Because ideally, since this is going out to a mass community all throughout the world, um, well, I think primarily actually the States and India, um, you want to make sure that they're not necessarily um, have low hit rates or low completion rates, right? Um, masters, this you have to pay a bit more, so not many people, it's, a, it's another level, so not many people will require their workers to be masters, normally I wouldn't. Um, and then um, you can add specific criterion in terms of, you know, hit approval rate, right? So greater than usually, I would say, I think we put about 95. And I'm going to go back into our old survey to show you the parameters once more. I'm just going through here to show you what else we did. Um, and you can say all workers can see or private where all workers can see my hits, but only workers that meet the qualification requirements can preview my hits, etc. So you would want this um, criterion. You can design layout where it's like this. Um, you can actually edit these areas, right? So this is where you would go back to your Qualtrics survey, get that link, copy it, and paste it here, right? If you'd like to do, you can add more, you know, uh, words and um, other descriptions, but otherwise, this is very important as they need to make sure that this box is open, this page is open, so that they can enter the code that's generated at the end of their survey here. You can preview, right, just to make sure. Save. batch. Okay. Um, one thing to realize, however, right, you say publish batch, next. Okay, and it shows you how much is required, right, and um, in terms of fees, because there's also fees that you have to pay MTurk for using this um, database. And it would ask you, how would you like to pay? You need to go to manage payment options and make sure that you have enough um, to uh, publish your uh, project. And um, I'm going to go into uh, the requirements that we had. Edit. Right. So just as a review, this is how we set up our study. So we answer a survey about selfishness, 20-minute survey on selfishness, gave a bit more keywords, the rewards, we wanted this amount of hits. We set it for um, one hour, the hit expires in a week, and they would be auto-approved in also a week. We do not want masters, um, so the hit approval rate needs to be, oh, we acted at 98% or higher, and the number of hits approved has to be 5,000. And so we do require 
Um, this is a level that has been, I think, more recently um, stringent in one sense to kind of uh, make sure that the participants are uh, well-qualified participants. Once again, private, etc. So once you set all the parameters, um, you would save it again, right? And just to go back, you can manage. Um, and oh, sorry, this is just showing what surveys are ready to um, review. But in order to actually publish the study, what you would do is you'd click publish batch, right, with the project's name. And then do next. After you, of course, check everything is in order with um, the link. Um, you know, your reward, you go to next. Oops, sorry, I have to sign it again. And then this is saying, of course, I don't have, in, I don't have enough hits um, or funds for the hits. Um, but this would just show you how much is required. And this actually shows you how much is um, needed in order to purchase and publish, right? So in order to provide the sufficient funds, the way you would go is into my account, right? And then you can either choose however much or um, a set amount or whatever amount you believe is needed. And you can proceed to purchase and that's when you would um, purchase your hits uh, via your Amazon account. Okay. So to manage your data, um, you would go in to manage and click the batch, uh, the results section, and normally what would come up is all the participants who, uh, or all the workers, and you can approve all or select however many or whoever you think um, should be approved and compensated for the participation. Um, and then all of the data, including the MTurk code and whatnot, will be um, provided in the Qualtrics uh, database that you have to go into um, your survey via Qualtrics. Um, one other tip that I would recommend is to ask for their, um, to put in their MTurk worker, or yeah, MTurk worker ID in your Qualtrics survey as just a final um, question uh, so that they can put in both and you can uh, cross identify and cross check. So yeah, I hope that helped. Um, if you have any other questions, I would highly recommend going to Brent Curdy's website, uh, which is, you know, if you actually just type in the Google Brent Curdy MTurk, it'll be um, this first page here that comes up and it'll tell you exactly how to link with more detail. Um, however, the Qualtrics uh, uh, survey or the database has been updated, so the format is a bit different but the steps should be um, identical. So yeah, hope that helps.